I just got done reading this book, A Philosophy of Software Design by John Ousterhout, after it was recommended to me by a coworker. First of all, it's hard for me to criticize, like give any sort of criticism uh, about this book because the author is such an accomplished computer scientist and software engineer. The book itself is well written. Uh, it's organized, easy to read, easy to speed read. Each chapter has like a conclusion section at the end that nicely summarizes uh, everything in the chapter. Then at the very end of the book, uh, there's like a whole list of kind of a big review of just like a nice list of all the design principles that were presented as well as uh, some of the red flags that he says to watch out for. And I think that's a really, I, I really love that about the book because it makes it more useful as like a something you could keep, you know, at the side of your desk as you're working. The author acknowledges that uh, software design is not an exact science. There's always going to be exceptions to the rules and so he, he says that about every principle. So everything needs to be taken with a grain of salt and I really like that because with, with software design it's really easy to just fall into the trap of uh, being dogmatic or just doing things because, whoops, just doing things because um, that's what people say. In uh, section 1.1 of the book, the author says that the philosophies presented in the book may be hard to appreciate without looking at actual code. And he says that it was a challenge to come up with uh, the right code examples, like meaningful code examples for the principles that he's talking about. And I personally, I would take that even a step further and say that it's pretty hard to understand or appreciate the, the design principles without personally suffering through some of the problematic situations and scenarios that they are intended to, to help you avoid. So with that thought in mind, I wonder if this book would be, you know, useful to like a, a new software engineer. And I'm not sure. I think my my personal feeling is that this book would probably be more geared towards a mid-level to senior level software engineer. And I could be wrong about that. So um, if you're new to software development and you have read this book or you or you decide to read this book, let me know what you think about it. All right, so now for the actual content of the book. So the author claims that complexity is the ultimate bad guy or antagonist in software design when it comes to software design. He does a good job defining what complexity is, how it comes up, and then each chapter of the book is dedicated to either overcoming or avoiding complexity in some way. There's not one uh, design principle in particular that stood out to me as like groundbreaking and some of the some of the design principles uh, did not really resonate with me personally but i think that is because i have not experienced them you know for myself uh, that could be why it's not that they're wrong it's just maybe i don't have an appreciation of that then on the other hand there were also some design principles that i feel like i already follow but maybe i just didn't quite recognized uh, like how to label it or how to describe uh, you know that specific principle so it was nice to like kind of have a label and on the on the principle and you know have him present it in a clear way that makes sense even if you're already doing something that he says you know it's nice to see it laid out in a very organized way. It helps a lot to have a label on, on ideas and design patterns in this case. The author also challenges some of the popular uh, design principles that exist today in software development. For example, uh, he advises against quickly completing features, like kind of doing the bare minimum to get to get something done. He calls that tactical programming, and he argues that that uh, sacrifices good design because you're too you're too short sighted. And that's sort of at odds with what agile development says. And then he also criticizes things like test-driven development for the same reason. Like um, it just makes you kind of short-sighted uh, rather than thinking of, of the system as a whole. You're more focused on getting your tests to pass. And so it can be detrimental and he kind of warns against that. And so that's a little bit different of a belief. As I read the book, I kept thinking about empathy, like the idea of empathy and it may sound kind of vague, but I think that empathy is kind of the key to making good software design decisions. I believe you must have empathy as a software developer, uh, empathy towards your teammates, empathy towards uh, the users who are using the features you're building, future, future software developers who have to read your code. You should always be trying to put yourself in, in those other shoes. Um, as you're working on stuff. I, I think just empathy is kind of at the heart of everything. There's no doubt this is a good book. Um, it's a great book to read. I would recommend it. One thing I will say though is that you have to be careful when you're thinking about software design because 
it's really easy to get hyper focused on it. And I've personally found that that can sometimes be uh, just almost as just as detrimental uh, as complexity, the thing you're trying to avoid in the first place. So it definitely is a balancing act, um, software design. Uh, Alistair Howe, the author here, does, I think he kind of calls that out that, you know, you, you have to strike the right balance between just getting stuff done, uh, calling it good enough, and making the right decisions to avoid complexity. So that's one of the challenges to software development. So in summary, I think the book is great. I think it's well written. It's organized in a way that I like. It's easy to read. I'm not the strongest reader myself. Uh, I was excited that I, you know, it's only this thick. Um, I was excited that I was able to get through it. It's a good book to, like the things presented here are, are all good to keep in mind as you're developing software. And, you know, he tries to give meaningful examples of pretty much everything he says. Again, I'll say that, you know, even the examples are not a substitute for, you know, hands-on real wor world experience, but I, I think it's a great book overall. So I'd, I'd recommend that, um, I'd recommend you read it if you are a person who, you know, is trying to be mindful and make good decisions um, as you're writing software.